Well, I think it's time to step up the YouTube game. I got a new camera and a new microphone. So I'm stepping up the video production quality on this channel. Uh, I went out and bought a Sony ZV-10E or ZV-E10, I'm not even sure, but it's a really cool like vlogging YouTube uh, digital camera that works really well. I got a microphone from Hollyland that is a wireless microphone that has a lavalier uh, capability as well. And I got, well, I got a memory card. What? No big deal. I have to have it. I have to have an SD card to film this stuff on. But the point to this video is one, I'm taking more of an initiative in this channel to put out really great content for you, the viewers. And the second reason for this video is I kind of wanted to overview what it took for me to release all of the videos that I ever made on this channel with this phone. Literally, every single video I made was filmed with this phone or like the one right before it, before it broke, and uh, the microphone inside of it, and edited in a software on this phone. So I wanted to dive into what it took to make the videos on this channel up to this point, and also what I'm kind of looking to do moving forward. So this is a Galaxy A37 or something. I, I don't even know the model, but it's a lesser than the top end of the Samsung Galaxy series. And it's, you know, it's a pretty decent phone. It's got a decent camera on it. Uh, it's got, you know, video capabilities and, and you can download apps and stuff. Anyways, you know how phones work. But I filmed all of the videos on this channel just with this camera. I bought a YouTube video kit off of uh, Amazon that came with a tripod, which this camera is sitting on right now. Uh, it came with a couple of little microphones, which I ended up not using because I didn't really like the sound quality. And it came with a ring light. So all of the videos that I filmed on this channel were filmed with the phone and those components. So here in the brewery, when I do action shots or how-to videos, I'll set up the tripod and get as best shots as I can and hope that the audio quality is good. Hot tip, it's not. And when I'm at home sitting on the couch and you see that kind of talking head video where I'm just talking to the camera, I just use the ring light setup for that one. So very, very simple setup. Outside of the actual phone camera that I use to film with and the microphone and the tripod and all that stuff, I use what I think is the most important part of the process for making YouTube videos is an app called InShot. You can scroll through the video on the bottom, kind of split, delete, add text, all that good stuff. So that app was, I think I initially paid a yearly subscription during their trial period for like 10 bucks a year. Super crazy, inexpensive. This is not sponsored by InShot, but it should be. And I'm gonna reach out to them after I film this. But that app has been super, super useful in creating all the content that I put on the channel. The video's filmed with this phone, it's edited with this phone, and it's uploaded with this phone. So literally everything I've done on YouTube is with this piece of equipment right here. So if anybody's interested in starting a YouTube channel, just know you don't need anything fancy. You can literally do it from here. And I got 1,800 subscribers with just this piece of equipment, which Frankly, it's a pretty good investment, but I wanted to upgrade the equipment, uh, specifically the camera and the audio, because I'm getting really interested in YouTube. Uh, I've been going down the YouTube rabbit hole for the last few months, and I've been making videos for over two years now, and I really wanted to put out some solid content. So I have a list of video ideas that I keep in my computer, and there's a couple of them in there that I think are just like really excellent video ideas, but I wanna make them high quality as well. One of the things that's been lacking on the channel is definitely the video quality, just because it's a regular camera on a phone, and the audio quality. So hopefully this audio is good because I didn't even test it before I turned this on, which is I'm now realizing is a huge mistake. So I wanted to make a higher quality, higher production quality video for the kind of the bigger ideas that I have. In fact, I started filming one of these ideas three separate times, hours in front of the camera. I wrote a script, I planned it out, I did research, I even shot some B-roll and got some action shots of beer and pouring and stuff like that, but just ultimately wasn't happy with the quality of it. So this is the impetus behind kind of upgrading the equipment so that I can film better stuff. On top of that, like I mentioned, I've been getting really into YouTube and just producing all kinds of YouTube stuff. So in the last month, I started working with a couple of buddies to start YouTube channels for them as well. So that's something that I'm, st I'm starting to pursue so that I can kind of scratch that itch in different niches. Itches in different niches, that's a good line, I should say that. But basically I'm uh, creating videos for them and their own YouTube channels so that I can kind of hone my skills on filming and lighting and all that good stuff. So what's to come with the channel? 
Well, my goal is to continue with the Tanglefoot Brewing channel, kind of uh, along the same lines that it currently is. I do beer education stuff. I do sort of like overviews and insight into the beer industry, uh, obviously following the growth of a tiny brewery and all of the obstacles and uh, wins in that realm, but I'm also really interested in doing some more experiential stuff. So like I mentioned, I've got a list of ideas for all the way from like how Pilsner became what it is to, I don't know, some other things I can't think of off the top of my head. But I've got a lot of other videos that I wanna produce that aren't necessarily in line with just Tanglefoot Brewing. They're more like an overarching beer, fun entertainment style video. So the point of this video, other than telling you all of this stuff that I'm just going off the top of the head with, is what do you wanna see? What would you like to see on this channel? What content is compelling to you? Is there another subject that you'd like me to dive deep on? Are there other aspects of the brewing process that maybe you're not super familiar with that you would like a more uh, robust, informative overview of? Uh, or are you just interested in talking about hops and mash temps and I, I don't know, you just tell me. Uh, I've got some feedback already from some viewers requesting more brewing videos, which I'm definitely gonna be doing in the future. Uh, maybe some more just kind of action shots from the day to day, maybe some serving videos and some events or offsite things as well. But please let me know in the comments or feel free to email me at andy at tanglefootbrewing.com. Uh, I'd be happy to take any feedback and let me know what you're interested in seeing because after all, y'all are the reason that I'm doing this. Uh, I wanna provide good content to you. So that's all I got for this video. Uh, I'm about to open up here at Tanglefoot and I already filmed this video once but I didn't press record so you must oh my god I just filmed that whole thing like 10 minutes of me talking I didn't even hit record now I'm really behind and I gotta go uh, get these beers on tap and everything cleaned up so thanks for watching the video we'll see you on the next one cheers